What's good, what's good, what's good? Family, family, family. I know I've been a little MIA, but uh, welcome back to another Mental Health Monday. Uh, today is actually Sunday. Um, I'm gonna start doing, trying to record the videos on Sunday, uh, edit them, and then just uh, schedule them to drop at us. I don't know what time yet on Monday. Uh, if you got any ideas, you can drop a comment down below what time you would like the videos to drop on Mondays. But I'm actually in Washington, D.C. right now. Um, I'm going to the Lincoln Memorial. It's a rally today uh, called Defeat the Mandates. It's basically a rally against the uh, vaccines and the mandates that they're trying to enforce on everyone. Um, yeah, I'm not vaccinated. I don't ever plan on getting vaccinated. So this is basically a rally to I mean, not two, but a rally for other like-minded people uh, that are against the uh, vaccines. Uh, so yeah, that's what today is about. Um, quick little update. Like I said, I know I've been missing in action because uh, I switched my schedule. I used to work two to 11. Uh, now I work seven to three. So it's kind of like I got to wake up super early, which is good. I like waking up early, but at the same time, I don't have that time in the morning where I used to do the videos so I can drop them before I go to work. So that's been a little adjustment, uh, update on Howard. Uh, I know you've seen my previous videos, I got accepted to Howard. But due to some like technical, damn, bro, talk. technical difficulties from Howard, I was not able to get access to my email, my Bison account and different stuff like that. So before starting school, you have to submit some paperwork i wasn't able to get all my paperwork in so i'm going to defer to the fall so instead of starting uh, i was supposed to start on the 10th so instead of starting now i'll be starting in the fall uh that gives me more time to i guess gather all my paperwork and not be rushing to the last minute uh because that's very stressful uh so yeah deferring to the fall i'm still going to school i'm not not going to school i'm going to school just deferring for now uh so yeah that's the update on that uh what else is going on my job uh like i said i got switched to the morning shift morning shift i like i wake up early anyway so the morning shift fits me better um i'm able to get off at three o'clock um able to come home cook dinner pick my son up different stuff like that so it's been better uh yeah what else what else Oh, my therapist. I also with that, so that's kind of like a, I, want, I don't want to say negative, but a disadvantage of working uh, in the morning. My therapy appointments were at 10 a.m. So I just spoke to my therapist on Friday and we basically were able to reschedule. Uh, so now I'll be meeting at 3.30. Uh, so I'll be home and able to continue my therapy sessions. So yeah, that's just a quick update. Uh, I will be probably taking videos and pictures of the rally and putting it in this video. Um, let me see, let me see what I can show y'all real quick. Oh, I can't flip the camera. Y'all see the monument right there, if y'all can see it. And then the Lincoln Memorial is over there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but that's where I'm about to walk to. Uh, it was crazy finding parking here. I had to go around, I had to do like, they got like big, uh, what's it called? Turnstiles, uh, roundabouts. That's what it's called, roundabouts. They got a lot of roundabouts. So I had to go down Long Street, hit a roundabout just to find my way over here. I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's pretty close. It's, it's, it's walking distance, but, uh, yeah, they definitely got the cops out there. So yeah. That's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for updates and yeah.
you get when you choose to attack all members of the human family. This is what you get when you decide to go after a person's child. This is what you get when you choose to attack men, women, medical professionals, those with degrees, those without degrees, and all in between. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who is my leader, my teacher, and my guide. And I have to make it very clear that they really didn't expect all of this. Speak on Give yourselves another round of applause. Come on, come on, come on. dwell together in unity. In the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 103, it says, and Behold firmly, hold firmly to the rope of Allah, all together and become not divided, and remember the favor that I have given unto you. When you were enemies, and he brought your hearts together, you became, in his favor, brothers. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, our unity is more powerful than a hydrogen or an atomic bomb. That's right! And the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said that we should argue over religion after we are free. Woo! I have to make this very clear that, please give another hand to Robert Kennedy Jr. and all those who spoke Woo! We thought Tuskegee was it. He came to us and said, there is something happening now that is far worse than Tuskegee ever was. He met with me and I brought my minister, the Western Regional Minister for the Nation of Islam, Minister Tony Muhammad. Once we received that data, we brought that information to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Once he received the data, he said, Mr. Kennedy, not only am I going to bring this information to our community, but I'm going to bring it to the entire world, and he did at the 20th year anniversary of the Million Man March. That was streamed to over 42 countries to over 1.2 billion human beings across planet Earth. Y'all can clap for that, come on now, come on. coincidence that we are standing where Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. made his great I Have a Dream speech. Give a round of applause and show love to our beloved ancestor, Dr. Martin Luther King. He was interviewed in 1967 on NBC and he said, I must confess that that dream I had has in many ways turned into a nightmare. Exactly. And this is one of the circumstances that he was referring to. What would cause a Muslim, a Christian, and the members of the Jewish community to stop arguing? <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> what? It must be something pretty big. This circumstance has made Satan obviously the one who has declared war on all of humanity. Is that right? Is that right? Okay then, well let me make it very clear, not only did he declare war on all of us, but as you see in the audience, you see those who are Muslims, Christians, those in the Jewish community, those who are a part of the spiritual systems, those who are non-religious, Democrats, Republicans, white, black, everyone all in between. This is the example. You use the black community yet again to push poison. You played the people while pimping us. Did I say it clearly? Say it again. You used the black community. Pardon me, you used, pimped the black community and played everyone else. They used our art 
scientists. They used our athletes, our singers, our rappers to ensnare the masses of humanity while saying the same old tired statement, safe and effective, safe and effective. But you never told them the science. You never told them the data. And you never allowed them to ask the proper questions. But now we are here to answer those for you. And as I close, we do know how to read. I know you didn't think we read. Even though it was illegal, I think it's been legal for quite some time. But we read the various information. We read all of the data. We have debated with some of your scientists, some of your quote unquote medical professionals. We have found that there were so many things that you have omitted that Mr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. outlined beautifully. But Tuskegee was not the worst. You experimented on 1,500 children in LA in the 90s. You experimented on over 20,000 black and brown women in the prisons of California. You experimented on inmates in Philadelphia. You have experimented on our people for quite some time and as demonstrated with some of those vaccine injured, you have experimented on over 1 million and potentially over a billion people recently with this new quote unquote vaccine. So this has been the mass COVID experiment. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. Gonna make sure you stand with me. Yeah. Almost done. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in his July 4th, 2020 address called the Criterion. Mm -hmm. He stated, quote, if you attempt to force this on us, we will take that as a declaration of war. Yeah. because you know how they do. This sounds quite familiar. I believe a founding father by the name of Benjamin Franklin made the statement that, quote, rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. So I think we are in the epitome of what is called an American. I think we are following what it is called to be an American. And the last I will say here, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan warned the Pope he warned the president at the time. He warned every member in Africa as it pertains to the leadership and he warned all members of the human family and he told them, we do not want your vaccine. That's right! Did he say? Yes! Did he say? Yes, sir! Did he say? Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he is not one as the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught him. He said, don't speak for one, speak for the whole. The challenges have been issued and not one of these medical professionals, not one of these scientists, Fauci nor Gates, have answered the challenge. But I believe from this point on, we must continue to issue the challenge. You must face the challenge. Does that make sense? We have the right and the freedom, as you have stated, under the First Amendment of the United States Constitution to our practice of religion our practice of the freedom of press, our religious freedoms, and as it pertains to speech, and as it pertains to assembly. Are these the First Amendment freedoms that they guarantee to us? Are they? Well, if these are the First Amendment freedoms, then I will say we as a people have to continue to come together, regardless of your color, regardless of your creed, regardless of your religion, regardless of whatever you call yourself, because to them, none of that matters. Our enemies don't argue over religion while we do. But we need to end that today. So thank you very much for listening. Let us continue to come together. The past is over. The past is
Are they That's $93.5 million a day. Well, we'll see. Okay. So we will see. Okay. Hold on. Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. As you can see, the sun is coming up behind me. Uh, it's pretty dark outside. I'm actually riding with my car light on so you guys can see me. Um, but continuation on from yesterday, uh, I went to the rally. The rally was amazing. Um, it was a lot of information. Uh, doctors got up there and, and told how the hospitals were banning them from uh, continuing practicing because when COVID first started, they were using low cost medications and they were curing people, uh, cut down on hospitalization. They were told that they can't continue to do that. They had to basically use a specific medication. Woo, woo, woo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's plenty of people uploaded videos on YouTube about the actual rally um, I wasn't able to record a lot of it because one it was freezing cold out there I didn't have any gloves and I only had my phone so I didn't bring a camera but people was recording I'm pretty sure uh, it's all over YouTube but like I said a bunch of doctors got up there and explained the whole situation now with all this being said I'm I'm for whatever you for. If you want to take the vaccine, boom, you do do the vaccine, you done your research, woo woo woo, that's you. If you don't want to take it, I'm with that. I'm on the side of not taking it. I don't believe in the vaccines. Um, but that's just me, that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to convince anyone to change their minds. If you want to get a vaccine, you already got it, boom, 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 that's on you. Um, that's your body, that's your choice. Um, but that's basically what the rally was about, was to stop the mandates. So in DC already, they have they put mandates out. You can't even go into restaurants without um, showing proof that you vaccinated. So that's what the rally was for, to end the mandates, to give people the choice to either be vaccinated or unvaccinated. Um, the rally was great, like I said, uh, I had a great time. It was freezing cold. Um, but it was a lot of information drop, a lot of jewels drop. Um, after the rally, I stuck around. I got to meet Brother Rizza Islam. If you don't know who that is, um, just Google his name. He's He's been speaking about vaccines and for a long time. Um, that's how I came across him. Uh, I, I believe it was on, I wanna say I seen a video of him on Facebook. Um, but yeah, he has plenty of interviews. Just Google Rizza Islam. It pull up a lot of you. Yeah, pull up a lot of videos. I'm actually on my way to work. That's why it's so early. It's still dark outside. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit this video at work. I have a a little bit of time. I get there at seven. I got till eight before medication start. Um, so try to edit this video and uh, post it up, but appreciate everybody tuning in. That is a, just a quick little update. Um, like I said previously, trying to get adjusted. What are you doing? Trying to get adjusted to my new schedule, working in the morning. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, posting videos, hopefully back on the regular. I'm going to say I'm going to post them on the regular, but things happen. Um, appreciate you guys for tuning in, rocking with me. If you haven't already, please do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video. Share the video. Uh, yeah, that's it. Until next time, remember, spread love, not hate. Peace.